Ladies and gentlemen, check it out from Sackless Audio Works. It's the Multicab 4. This is a uh, speaker simulator, microphone simulator, as well as a preamp and power amp simulator, a DI. It's basically a way to get great mic'd up guitar cab tone into your recording interface or to the PA. No microphones, no speaker cabinets required. But you can use it in a bunch of different ways. So say you got your amplifier plugged into a speaker cabinet, you just want to send a great mic'd up sound to a PA or a recording interface, you can just take a line out tap off of the signal going to the, uh, the, the speaker, either using your amp's line output, maybe it's got one, or you can use a line out box, run that signal into this thing, and then come out of the, uh, the DI out, run that into your recording interface or PA, select the cabinet, you can get great mic'd up cab sound with no mics required. So to do that in my video, I used the Sir line out box to patch in between my amplifiers and my speaker cabinet in order to take a line out tap to send to the multi-cab uh, to then send to my recording interface. But I realized I didn't even need to do that. The multi-cab 4 actually has that feature built right in. So in other words, you can take the speaker cable right out of your head, run it into the multi-cab 4, run another speaker cable out of the multi-cab 4 through to your speaker cabinet, and then you just use the multi-cab 4 uh, to take a tap off of that signal going to your speaker cabinet to send right to your recording interface or right to the PA. So sometimes I miss things, but anyways, it's got that feature built in. Maybe you've got something like a load box uh, or an attenuator that's got a line out on it. You can take uh, the output out of that and run it into here. Also run the line out to the, the PA or recording interface. Maybe you've got a great preamp pedal or your overdrives and stuff on your pedal board and you just wanna run those right into this and then turn on the preamp and power amp simulator uh, to get some different tones and then also incorporate the speaker simulation. So in other words, to have like a pedal board based rig, uh, you know, no amp, no speaker cab required. This can be the back end of your pedal board based guitar rig. Now I used it in both those ways actually on the track at the beginning of the video. Mainly I was running through amps, taking a line out from the amplifier on the way to a load box and running uh, that line into here and then I was using the various speaker cabinet settings uh, to get different mic'd up cabinet sounds. But for one of the guitar parts in that track at the beginning of the video, one of the clean parts, I used this KSR preamp pedal. So this is designed to be kind of like a three channel amp in a pedal. There's a clean channel and then two drive channels. I just used the clean channel, came out of here straight into to the box. So that was one of the clean sounds in the song at the beginning of the video. Now having done a video back in 2021 for the precursor to this, the 3.5 version, what's different between that box and this one? Well I'll tell you, the old one just used to have a bunch of preset kind of cab sims on all the different steps on this big rotary pod. So you'd have your 112s, your 212s, your 412s, etc. Now it's just got dots there and it's just stepped. It's like eight different uh, kind of memory locations for the cabs. What you can do via USB there is load up some different cab sims. So it comes loaded with a whole host of different ones and I think they're very similar if not the same to what was in the 3.5 version, but you can go to the website and download different cab packs and load up different cabinets now via USB. So they got a few different cab packs on there. You can get like Pulsonic cone greenbacks, different versions of V30s, all kinds of stuff. And I tried it, I just plugged in via USB. I downloaded a little software program from their website. I was able to pull that up and uh, download the, the cab packs really easily. And before I knew it, I was loading in different cabs on the, on the, the eight different slots in here. And I was able to, to do that super simple, it's very easy. So I think that's mainly the difference between the four and the 3.5 version that I did back in 2021 is the ability to load in different cabinets. Now it's not impulse responses, but it is digital speaker simulation. I'm not sure what they're doing. It's some sort of proprietary thing. You can't load your own IRs into here, but you can load the great variety of cabinets that they've got on their website into here. And there's plenty to pick from there. So yeah, the back end of this pedal is digital. Um, there's also an ambience control there that definitely sounds like a digital kind of room reverb that allows you to, to mix in a nice room sound. And then there's the analog portion of this pedal. So what's that? Well, we've basically got three different microphone settings here. And this is kind of a filter that lets you get uh, either a ribbon style microphone, a dynamic style microphone, or both blended. Then there's another switch here that lets you select the, select the cabinet type, like whether it's a closed back cabinet, semi open back cabinet, or open back cabinet. Once again, this is all done in the analog realm, so it's kind of just filtering the signal and doing its thing. Uh, once that filtered signal you know, is set the way you like it, that gets passed on to the, the digital cabinet simulations. It's kind of like a marriage of analog and digital, I guess. The other two switches here are a power amp simulator and a preamp simulator which you can defeat. You can turn both those off. If you just want to get the cab sims, you can do that. But if you want to add a little bit of power amp style coloration, a little bit of preamp style coloration to get kind of like a couple different varieties of clean preamp, 
couple different varieties of power tubes here. It's labeled EO34, 6L6, or off for the power amp sim. And then the preamp sim is labeled off, uh, clean, or hot. And then you've got a, just a tone control right here to kind of set the tone of the preamp. Now, I wouldn't say this is a full-on, like, tube amp simulator or something. It does get you in the realm if you've got nice overdrive pedals. Certainly, if you've got preamp style pedals, you can get some good results, some good sounds. Don't expect it to crunch up like a Marshall or something like that, though, or like, you know, a broken up fender or anything like that. It's not really going to do that. It's just going to be a good sort of clean pedal platform. So you want to add your nice overdrives and your nice uh, fuzzes and all that stuff to this to, to get your tones. Just think of it as kind of like a clean back end that allows you to, to add your pedals and then get your sound. Some of the other features here, there's a level switch on the side here because obviously, you know, if you're running things like everything from a line out of an amp to, uh, you know, lines out of your, your instrument level pedals into here, you're going to need that level switch. You also got a headphone jack here and an aux in switch. So like if you've got your pedal board and you just want to practice or something, you could run like say the line output of your, your phone or something into here and play tracks through it, plug in headphones here to listen, then you could like jam along. Then you got the outputs there. That's a XLR output for the DI out. There's also a, a line out. And then you got a ground lift switch there in case you run in it, into any uh, ground buzzing problems. I'm gonna play a little bit more through the pedal now. I'm also gonna solo some of those parts from the track outside of the mix. You can hear the different cabinet sounds. I'll detail what amp I was using or, or the, you know, when I was using the KSR pedal, that kind of thing. Uh, let's get into it. It is the Multicab 4 from Sackless Audio Works. Okay, so I just recorded my first guitar part here in this track, and what I'm doing here is I'm running the little Friedman JEL20 back there into the, the power station over here. I'm running the line out into the uh, multi-cab 4 here. I'm going quarter inch in, and then I'm adding a cabinet. It's one of the included ones that came with it. I've got the both mics setting here, so that means like a blend of a virtual ribbon and dynamic. Closed back cabinet, and it's like an H30 uh, Celestion speaker in a closed back 412 and it just sounded really good for this part to me. One thing that I'm doing that's a little unconventional uh, is I'm adding the EL34 power simulation. It just sounded cool to me, just added some extra girth. So I'll turn it on and off so you can hear it. <laughs> It just sounds cool to me, I don't know. I, I just like it um, when it's on. Here's the 6L6 one. That sounds like a little much to me with this sound. But anyway, because I'm using an amp and I'm using the power amp of an amplifier, you know, it's almost like I'm adding a power amp sim to where there's already a power amp. Uh, but it just sounds good to me. And so there are no rules, right? If it sounds good, it is good. So it's cool. I've got a little bit of the ambience control blended in here to get, just give a little bit of a room reverb sound. You can hear that. Uh, if I crank it way up, probably clear. Right? It's like a, it's like a nice kind of medium room. It's relatively tight but it's got a, it's got a little bit of air to it so it doesn't sound like a super small room to me it just sounds good and that sounded great on the track at the beginning of the video okay so i think i'm gonna uh, double this part now for an extra fat rhythm thing So I just used this um, KSR preamp pedal here. It's like a three channel preamp with a simple clean and then a, a crunch channel and a lead channel. Basically guitar straight into the pedal and then coming out of the pedal into the cab sim and then going out into a DBX uh, compressor, actually a 560A that I've got over there in my 500 series rack, um, just to compress a little bit because this is a super clean clean. So it sounds something like this, this part. <laughs> Right, so I just picked a cab sim that sounded good to me. It's at number two on the uh, on the dial. Mm -hmm. 
was that one. So it sounded good. I got the ambience turned up to about one o'clock. I got the 6L6 power amp sim on since it's just a preamp pedal. Just thought I'd add a little bit of power amp simulation. I'm using the open back cab setting for this. I'll flip that switch. <laughs> So you can hear basically from close back all the way up to the open back setting, it just kind of gets progressively in the three positions a little bit um, like less low end, a little just a bit more open sounding for lack of a better description. And I'm using the both microphone setting. Let's go between the both, the d dynamic and the ribbon. <laughs> So once again, that's the blended sound. So to play the lead stuff on the track at the beginning of the video, I incorporated my, my good old Hot Fuzz from BAE. I love this thing. It's a fuzz and trouble booster built into one. And uh, I'm doing the setup where I'm running into my old Marshall basically on the normal channel on uh, volume two. So it's got kind of a dark sound, but then when I hit it with the treble boost and a fuzz, it just fattens up into this great thing for single note fuzzy leads. And then on the multi-cab, um, I'm using the dynamic mic setting for just a little more clarity. Uh, using the closed back, I got all the preamp and power amp stuff turned off for this. Um, I'm on the green back cab that I downloaded from um, the uh, uh, Cab Pack 3. So it's a, it's a, a Pulsonic cone green back uh, cabinet that I'm using. I got the ambience turned up to about uh, two o'clock. Let's just check out the sound that I got here kind of in isolation. Thanks so much for watching my video on the Sackless Audio Works multi-cab for unique box that basically functions as a back end for your rig in order to get uh, preamp sounds, power amp sounds, cabinet simulation, microphone simulation, a little bit of ambience, it can be a headphone amp, it's a DI. You can check it out further that uh, website that you see down there at the link in the video description below. Please click there. And hey, also click the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed. Subscribed? I find that hard to say. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the little bell beside the subscribe, you'll get alerts when I put out new videos. I am Pete Thorne, take care, over and out.